Let's see 11 ways to get free gems in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. So I'm going to list in this video 11 costless ways to collect gems in Tennis Clash from the one presenting the highest chance of success and the greatest regularity, meaning you can get decent gems amounts in a short period and every day if possible, as well as requiring the minimal effort, meaning giving you gems even when you don't play matches. So the first way is the easiest one. Collect gems by opening basic bags in the home screen of TC every 4 hours. You have to think about opening TC regularly to get those bags. It is the best way of getting free gems in the game with a 100% chance of success and a great regularity compared to other ways I will talk about in this video. Please note that you won't get gems if you open basic bags in the store even after watching an advertisement. Effort requires minimal here, you just need to open TC and tap on the basic bags icon on the home screen. The second way to get free gems uh, is a bit harder, you can get gems in points bags. Each of those bags rewards roughly 30 gems, so play enough matches in club slam or in tour or in tournaments, remember that the friendly matches don't count, to score points. Chance of success is 100%, you just need to play matches. One points bag is available every 24 hours and you need to play in min a minimum of 6 matches to fill 140 points bag. The third way is pretty simple to get gems by doing daily challenges. All free daily challenges reward a small amount of gems between 2 and 4 some great deal daily challenges reward 6 gems but they require to be subscribed to ProPass so let's uh, ignore them. Here again, the chance of success is 100% if you play matches and if you do the daily challenges and if you can get those gems daily but not much. And you often need to play, of course, to do daily challenges. While connecting to the game to open by basic bags does not require any gameplay. So the good thing is that while playing the 6 matches minimum per day to fill your points bag, you generally do some daily challenges too, provided that you use the appropriate lineup to do them of course. For instance, you need to play with the high serve big forehand style or with the serve volley style to do the serve winners challenge. So the efforts required for this method are shared with the ones that you need to deploy to do the points bag challenge. The fourth way of getting free gems in Tennis Clash uh, does not happen very uh, often. Once every 14 days, you can win gems in Pop a Barrel. Well, the high chance of success is there, using your free tries only, not extending time with gems. And if you are lucky, you will get barrels containing gems during your free tries. I was talking about a pretty good chance of success because generally, you get at least one gems barrel out of uh, two free attempts and the uh, gems reward is decent when you destroy those gems barrels. Yeah, the only problem as I said is that there's only one pop barrel every uh, two weeks. Let's see now the fifth way of uh, getting free gems in Tennis Clash uh, is about collecting 50 gems if you are not a subscriber to ProPass. So you can get uh, one time per ProPass season for free 50 gems uh, just by playing matches and by reaching the 15th uh, threshold of the ProPass season. Chance of success is 100% if you play enough and well efforts uh, are shared with uh, daily challenges and points backs. The sixth way of getting free gems in Tennis Clash uh, is about uh, having the piggy bank at the bottom of your TC store right now in the game and uh, at the top of the TC store in the past. If you have enough gems to open this piggy bank in the first six levels, then you will get more gems than you spend to open it. Remember, that's true only in the first six levels of the piggy bank, huh? not from the level seven. So, doing that, you will get free gems. In later levels of Piggy Bank, you will get fewer gems than what you need to open it. If you have the Piggy Bank, then the chance of success is 100%. The problem is regularity. You have the Piggy Bank like one time every 24 months on average, I would say like that. 
not sure about uh, the duration, but uh, this is what I have seen on my uh, 35 accounts. As for the effort, well, you will feel piggy banks naturally by doing daily challenges, uh, while filling the points bags, uh, by opening some bags. So uh, yeah, effort is shared. Let's talk now about the seventh way of getting free gems uh, in Tennis Clash. This is about progressing from Tour 1 to Grand Tour to get those rewards. But that's true only since the Tennis 2.0 update released in mid-December 2023. However, the 1000 gems reward in Grand Tour, one every 22 days, which is the duration of a Grand Tour season, while other gems rewards in Tour 2 and Tour 9 are given only once. Well, that 1000 gems reward in Grand Tour requires an investment in good special strings and time which is generally not worth it if you are a free-to-play player. Not even all top 100 players in the Grand Tour ranking of each season obtain that 1000 gems reward, so I won't recommend you to try if you are playing on free-to-play mode, which is the case if you are watching this video generally. So the chance of success to collect the Tour 2 50 gems reward is very high, but the one of doing it in Tour 9 and in Grand Tour is much lower. Let's see now the eighth way of getting free gems in Tennis Clash. You have to look in the Lucky Can Machine minigame. So you have one free try every 24 hours. You will not get those gems in Lucky Can Machine easily. However, the chance of success is still better than in the Ace Academy that I'm going to talk about just afterwards. As for the effort, it's minimal. You just need to enter Lucky Game Machine and try to avoid broken records. Let's see now the ninth method, which consists on winning gems in the Ace Academy. The low chance of success is here. It's already harder to hit the gem slot, but it's also harder to get enough Ace Academy tickets for each attempt, especially if you have reached Tour 9. So you will have many chances to hit the gems in Ace Academy. And uh, this is uh, one example. As you can see, I was not very far from getting the gems here. 350 gems. Too bad. For the two last methods, I'm going to talk quickly about them only because uh, they are very rare. The tenth method is uh, about checking the store for special events during which TC will give you gems. That's very rare, I told you. But it already happened, well, like one time every two years. The last uh, and eleventh way of getting gems for free in Tennis Clash consists on collecting gifts. They are rare in your inbox after doing some tasks. For example, after connecting your TC account to a Facebook or Google or Game Center account to get 100 gems in your inbox, of course. So. The good thing is the chance of success is 100%, but regularity is very low. You will see that one time every three or four years. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy watching me explain the 11 simple ways to get free gems in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wider Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay T65 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon in Gameplay T65. Bye-bye.